Hey guys, Zuzu Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you for joining me. If you have joined me before, I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, I make videos on clean beauty, skincare, health and wellness, and crystals. Today we are going to do a review of the Lilova period panties. So if you remember my video from a few videos back, I did an unboxing and I said I would come back and give you a full review on the panties and that is what I'm doing today. If you want information on the underwear, go ahead and check out my unboxing because I gave you detailed information on the panties. This is going to be more of a review. So go ahead and check that out if you want to know more about them prior to watching the review. I got two pairs. So I have the Mia Hipsters. Mia Hipsters. And as you can see, they look like regular underwear. Like they don't look crazy. Like I thought they would look crazy. And the inside has this. So it goes all the way up. Let me flip them because I want you to see that the entire back, can you see the back? This entire back has the special, whatever it is that it has to absorb your period. So it's not just like a strip, like a pad. It is, let me show you, this whole part right here, all the way around has whatever the special technology so i have the mia hipster i have the stella high waist and the stella high waist have this sheer sexiness here and of course they have the same thing happening in the back and you can see it more because it has a sheer on the sides that all of that is the protection of what you uh need to not bleed all over the place right so that's the stella high waist i liked both of these i can't say that i liked one better than the other one they both did their job so i have a couple of notes because i tried these out for the first time and i wrote notes because i wanted to give you like my first impression like oh my gosh oh my gosh so i wrote notes and let me just peek okay so the first day of my period is typically heavy but not heavy as the rest of the period but I would say it's a heavy, regular flow, if that makes sense, right? So I don't ever have a light flow. I wish I did. I haven't had that since my athlete days, but um, it's a regular heavy flow on the first day. And so I wanted to test it on the first day because I knew it would be unfair to test it on my heavy flow days because it's off the hook it's off the hook so I was like I don't want to test it out for the first time and do a review on that because it would be kind of unfair so it was like a regular heavy heavy side of a regular flow and so um I wore the pad the period panties the first pair I wore the Mia hipsters and I wore them from 10 a.m to 7 p.m Okay, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you do the math because I don't do math, right? I don't, I, don't, I don't do math. So you go 10 to 7, I wore the panties. And so let me take a peek at my notes because I do want to break it down for you. So 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. in the morning, I put the panties on and they felt like regular panties, guys. I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, these feel like regular panties. It felt so wonderful to be out and about and feel free. Like free because you know when you so I don't wear tampons so I, I do believe that people who say they wear tampons feel freer but um I've never been a tampon fan but if you know you don't feel free in pads you feel it it's shifting it's moving you're nervous if you have a heavy flow like me and you're just like making sure you have your backup pads making sure you can get to the bathroom making sure you don't have an incident and I had none of that I just had the panties on and I was walking around town all free and happy you know how they have the um commercials for people on their period and you're like what period are you on like the commercial sanitary napkin commercials tampon commercials and you're just like ah, la, la. and then you're like no I don't I don't feel like that well I felt like that I did so I was just walking around town all happy with my period panties on without a care in the world and it was really wonderful to feel that free just to have the drawers on and nothing else and just my period was just going 
but I wasn't concerned. So that was nice. So I walked around for a while. So I'd say for about four to five hours, I had the pad on and I felt great. Absolutely wonderful. But I wanted to push it a little further. So I wanted to go beyond because I just wanted to test it out for you guys. So I, um, around... 5 p.m., which is seven hours in, guys, seven hours in. I wore no pad. I didn't change anything. Seven hours in, I started feeling a little nasty, like that moist, gross feel when you need to change your pad. That's the feeling you have with the underwear. It's the same exact feeling. It's time to change them. They let you know because you just have this moistness that's not going anywhere. It's, they're full, and it's time to take them off. They can no longer do their job. And so that happened at about 5 um, it was a bit soggy, but I wanted to test drive these babies. I did. I wanted to test drive them. So I went another two hours because I'm, you know, some hardcore like that. So I went another two hours to 7 p.m. and I felt gross. I should not have done that, but I needed to. I needed to be able to tell you guys, right? So five hours feeling a little soggy. Seven hours, gross. Don't do it. Don't do seven hours. So, and that's if you have a heavier flow. If you have a light period or you have just a regular flow, you probably could get away with wearing these for seven, eight hours and it'd be no problem. So I go to change it at around 7 p.m. And I felt gross, but there was no leakage at all. Nothing spilled out nothing leaked. It was beautiful. So yes, I felt a little soggy. I felt a little gross, but I felt very happy that even though I felt that way, if I was out, I wasn't going to have an incident or an accident. Yes, I need to go and change it, but there was no leakage at all. So these uh, like kind of lacy parts here, I have a black shirt on. It doesn't really help, huh? So like these lacy parts here just everything stayed in there everything stayed in there nothing came out so that was good that was wonderful I felt really good about that um even though I felt kind of gross but that was that was my fault I knew at five hours I should have taken them off it's just that I wanted to go and test drive them a little bit just a little bit just push them to the limit because I was testing them so that's what happened on the first wearing of the Mia the Mia, what were they called? The Mia draws. So then I went Mia hipster. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. So I only have two pairs. So I decided to wait to wear the Stella High waist for bed. So I just put a regular pad on for the rest of the evening. And then I, after I showered for bed, I put the Stella High waist on because really I wanted to know how are these going to act at night as well. At night, I typically wake up and change my pad twice. Twice. That is annoying. But if I don't, I'll bleed through the sheets. I'll bleed through my pajamas, everything. It'll be a mess. So I have to change twice. Typically, I will wake up maybe around 3-ish, 6.30-ish, something like that. 3-ish, 7-ish to change just because I'm so paranoid that I'm going to have an accident. And if I don't, I will have one. So I put these on, the Stella High Waist panties. And let me give you another look at those sexy sexy in a grandma kind of way but still sexy sexy and um i put those on and i put those on at about 10 at night so hopped out the shower put those on and wore them from 10 p.m to 7 a.m okay so now this was a little different because my period was probably starting to get a little heavier and then also i'm laying down and moving all around in all these different positions so just a little different than me wearing them throughout the day but we need to test we need to know right so I felt gross around 4 a.m., so about six hours in. But keep in mind, I would have needed to change my pad way before this, at least an hour or so before this if I wasn't wearing these. So I kind of woke up to go to the bathroom, and I was like, mm, I feel a little moist. So that same feeling I had at more like five hours, I had it at four hours of um, sleeping, laying down with a heavier flow. So I woke up. And I went to change them just because I was like, I'm going to go back to sleep and I'm not going to wake up for a while. So now what I did notice that is that I had leaked a little bit, 
onto my pajamas right through here, through each side here. I did. And it's probably me laying down and having a heavier flow. But it wasn't really a leak leak per se. It was just two red streaks right there. So had I not changed it, perhaps I would have had a serious accident. But it was two red streaks of just, okay, change this, change this. So I changed it. But um, I had that. And... It was, so it was six hours in total that I had it on this time. And like I said, heavier flow laying down. Uh, but they felt very comfortable when I was asleep, just like regular underwear, like the others. Very comfortable, not bulky at all. For some reason, I just thought they would be bulky and they weren't. Doesn't feel like a diaper, right? That's what I would think I would feel like and look like you don't. It doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. You have underwear on. You do. You have underwear on. It just happened to catch the period. Uh, so they're very comfortable. The moist, gross feel came when it was time to change them. Like I said, it's the similar feeling you have when it's time to change a pad. So we're used to that. We know that feeling. And you change it. Or you change it before you get there. Uh, so now you wash these and you hang them to dry i only have two pairs so um what you do is you rinse them in the sink to get all of the stuff out and you will be amazed at how much is in here when you're rinsing them in the sink and squeezing them out you're just like whoa these things had held a lot so um you will be you'll be amazed so you rinse them and then i went ahead and washed them with my regular clothes later and i hung them to dry you don't dry them in the dryer so you hang them to dry and i only have two pairs i wish i had more i will buy more a lot of times i see that the site uh lalova has a special where they'll have like buy two get one free or get 50% off um so i'll go ahead and get more because ideally i think i need 3 to make it through one day. So I probably need six pairs so I could wear my three, right? Wash, hang, next day wear my three, and then on the next day go ahead and snatch the ones up that I washed and hung. So I ideally need six pairs and I only have two. So I need to get four more pairs. You may need that as well. If you have a regular flow or a light flow, you might be able to get away with two pairs a day right? Just one all day and then one all night. You might be able to get away with that, which would be wonderful. I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, so overall, I love them. I loved these underwear just to be able to feel free while I walked around with my heavy flow to not have to worry about bleeding through the underwear and wondering if I had blood on my behind, wondering if when I got up from my seat, there was going to be a puddle. I've had it all and it's not a good feeling. It's you, you almost want to stay inside because you're like, I have such a heavy flow. I'm going to have an incident. I don't want to have an incident. And so to be able to have freedom from that is wonderful. To walk around with just the underwear, not a diaper, not, not the little baby, baby diaper booty, but to just have a regular underwear on and go beautiful for those of you who have a light flow you are going to love these for those of you who have a regular flow you are going to have to you are going to love these for those of you who have a heavy flow you're going to love them it's just that if you have a heavy flow you're going to need more underwear because you have to change often but um i love these i love this where have you been all my life Honestly, where have you been? I've been stalking period panties for about a year or two now. I don't know what took me so long to try them. Probably the price, right? Because they're like $28, I believe, for the Mia Hipster. And I think it's $32 for the Stella High Waist. I'll put it down on the screen somewhere just in case that is not correct. But um, that's probably what deterred me because if you have six pairs of those, you do the math, That's that can add up. But it's totally worth it. You won't need any pads. You'll be helping and saving the environment, right? Lessening your ecological footprint and um, feeling free at the same time. So it's a no brainer to me. So everyone who wanted to know about the period panties, that is what I think about them. They are wonderful. They are amazing and they are totally totally worth it. So that's it. That's my review on Lilova period panties. Like, 
comment, share, subscribe. Have you tried these period panties? Drop them in the comments. I want to hear about your experience or have you tried any other period panties? What do you think about them? Drop it in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Zuzu Natural. Peace out.